Hey girls, I wanted to do a video on my frames and um, I have such a large jewelry collection that um, I'm going to have to do it all in different like sections by categories. So I'm just going to start with um, just some of my rings and I'm just going to um, kind of go with them one by one. This is my first ring. This is a um, black onyx and um, it fits on this like ring too but it's really tight so I prefer it see how tight it is I prefer it on my pinky and um, it's a black onyx it's really fun um, kind of chunky then I have a more vintagey ring and it's it looks almost like um like a uh, what do you call it like a cameo cameo that's what I'm talking about and um, I like the band it's uh, very vintage-y. I found it in a vintage store, which I love. Um, I have my Lord of the Rings ring, which normally I actually don't wear this because um, it tarnishes. And um, you can see all the writing on it. Can you see that? I don't know. It's really hard to see that for some odd reason. It's because of the lighting. It's there. It's an elvish. I wear it on a chain around my neck. Um, this one's really fun for summer. It's just got two flowers and kind of some stonework on the sides. Cubic zircona, I think it is. This one is like huge and chunky, but really fun for like rocker night. It's like a brown, and the side of it is just like really plain. But every now and then, if I'm feeling like rock metal, I'll put this on. Um, this one is just a costume jewelry. Nothing too exciting about it. Um, this one is really, really pretty. This is a sapphire and diamond. And um, it's really big on me right now. Um, I'll sometimes wear it on this finger, but it's so pretty. And it looks really pretty on that hand, too. So it really doesn't matter. This is my more rocker look another rocker style um, very detailed I got this at forever 21 another one I got at forever 21 is this one again kind of rocker look I like vintage dainty and then I like extremes like I like big rings and then very dainty rings and then like diamonds so yeah I'm very hard to shop for um, this is a cross and I just love the detail look at the detail on that that is so pretty it's a really thick band too, but it doesn't really bug me. This one is a vintage one. My cousin gave me this ring. It's uh, Mother of Pearl, and it's got this pretty vintage design. And then this one is a bow, and I love anything that has bows on it. And it's green and blue. And I'll just, like, dress up and then, like, accent things in green, like green shoes or something, and wear this with it. And it's really fun. Again, at Forever 21. This one I got at my local spa, but I've seen these all over the place, and um, you could actually make one of these yourself. Um, it's just a bunch of green, I mean, not green, red. I'm tired. And it matches my nail polish. That's kind of fun. Um, I might wear this tomorrow, because I just did my nails. Um, this one... Um, you could actually make this like look at this you can make this and all that they did was kinda it looks like they took a bunch of rocks and they just hot glued everything onto a um, pan or like um I don't know what you call it anyways um my favorite thing in the world is butterflies so I have to have a butterfly ring of course so there's my butterfly ring this one is very dimensional so coming in from all sides it is from forever 21 I think it was like seven dollars or something but um, it's a really pretty rose and I just love how dainty and pretty even though it's big it looks very pretty this one is just another Lord of the Rings type rain um, got really pretty detail on it I really like it um, then I have this one this one I got from Hawaii and my boyfriend's and mo my boyfriend's mom and I, um, we all have matching rings, so that's pretty cool. This ring I got when I went to Turkey, 
and it's an opal from Turkey and right here from the same opal I have a matching cross so see that yep very cool and if there's a matching set I like to get necklaces that match my earrings which a lot of times I do have matching sets and yeah, this one this one's just like a vintage -y kind of bigger rose which I really like and then um, I just have like this one's costume jewelry um, this one is again costume jewelry but it's kind of pretty cubic zircona um, what else do I have I have oh this one's like Celtic and um, it's a black onyx heart is what that is and I just love the design on that one it was really cheap too I think it was like 20 bucks or something um, this one is diamond and amethyst and I actually got it repaired by my boyfriend for my birthday um, it's a uh, amethyst and diamonds and it's very like princessy yay because I'm a princess and it's my favorite color yay lavender and then um, this one is uh, diamond and pearl very vintagey band um, uh, Zales designed this one so yeah it's got like clusters my camera does not want to focus there it is um, really really pretty ring anyways so that is the brunt of my ring collection I'm missing a couple of other rings and then I have others that I really don't care about like there's this one and it's just like a really tiny, dainty little one. Um, I don't even know what's in the middle of it. I don't know, but it's really dainty and cutesy, so sometimes I like to layer rings. And for some odd reason, the camera's picking it up as white. It's not white, it's a pink stone. I believe it is a topaz. And somewhere... I'm missing my blue topaz. I have a blue and diamond topaz ring. I can't find it anywhere. And maybe one of my girlfriends borrowed it. But um, if I had favorites, I definitely like my diamond. Um, I really, really, really like my opal ring and my diamond ring. Those are probably my two favorites. And my amethyst ring. Amethyst and diamond ring. So this is another favorite. If I had one more favorite, it would probably have to be my sapphire and diamond ring. So these are probably my top four favorites. Well, my computer just blacked out. These are my top four favorites. If I could add in one more, uh, it would probably have to be my Celtic ring. This one's really fun. So these are like my top favorite rings right here just to kind of give you an idea of what I wear. Um, of all my big rings, my favorite is probably my bow. This is my favorite big ring. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't know. This one's really fun for summertime, though. And um, yeah, my cross is really pretty. I really like my cross ring. Anyways, but that's all that I wanted to show you, so kind of give you an idea of what kind of stuff. Now, some people do like to layer jewelry, and I can give you a quick example of that. So, like, let's say I want to go for something chunky, um, but I want to kind of layer some stuff together. Like, I might sometimes I'll wear these two together, and I'll set them like that on my hand. So it looks like that far away, which is kind of pretty, but it doesn't look too busy. And then every now and then, I like to put these two together. Oh, that's not the right one. I like to put these two together. I think that these two pair up kind of elvishy look. And I don't know, it doesn't look super busy, but... Um, even from far away, it doesn't look that busy. So I like those paired up. And then sometimes, if I want this one dressy, 
I might do this kind of look and have like a little peeping diamond band peeping out from underneath my rose. And um, so when you're looking at the side, it kind of, you get like a hint of lavender and some diamonds. So that's another way to kind of layer um, some of your earrings and, um, I mean rings, and maybe that might give you some ideas. And maybe you could show me how you you layer your rings and things that you do. Um, the other nice thing is about my hands is one rain might be on my ring finger. Another day, I can put it on my middle finger and maybe just accent that one with, you know, something like this together and kind of be, I don't know, a little more bohemian in that way. Or I might just wear something on my pinky like this and kind of do something like this look. And this is really fun too. And what I might add for my um, bangle collection is maybe a bangle or two or three to kind of offset that look. Or, you know, these are like my silver bangles. So I'll take something like this and then just kind of go heavy on like my rings that day and kind of get this look, you know. So it's kind of fun. So anyways, I just wanted to show you what I do. And you can show me your ring collection. Send me a link. Post it on the bottom. And um, I will be posting up um, definitely more videos soon. Okay? Bye, girls.